Last month, Perseverance encountered one of the most interesting rocks of the entire mission. It came with a bonus rock that could help explain key events in the history of Jezero Crater, but only if Perseverance could make the right moves. On this episode of Mars Guy, I'm doing fieldwork this week among volcanic deposits in the U.S. state of Oregon that might be relevant to ones explored by Perseverance, so this episode is a bit shorter to fit my schedule. In the last episode, I provided an update on this vein-filled slab of rock, shown here with Mars Guy for scale. Mineral veins on Earth in sedimentary rocks like these are unequivocal evidence of mineral-rich water flowing through fractures, so finding them on Mars provides another example of a more watery past on that planet. But as I showed last week, these veins have what look like olivine grains and bits of rock stuck to them, which makes them really different than any veins I've ever seen or read about on Earth. So their origin is a bit cryptic. Thanks to some high-resolution images from MassCam Z, masterfully processed by Simeon Schmaus, we can see that this slab includes a strange horn-like protuberance that looks like it's got coarse sand grains and small pebbles stuck to it, a very different texture and darker color than the slab it's poking out of. But the next rock over has essentially the same look, so it's pretty clear that in this area, very different material was deposited directly on top of the rocks containing the veins, which has been eroding off ever since. The direct contact between two very different rock types has escaped complete erosion in this one small spot. A second location nearby shows an even smaller example of this contact, nearly eroded to nothing, where it looks like a thin layer of the coarse grained rock is on top of a vein. This situation may be offering a clue about the olivine grains and bits of dust stuck to these veins. Maybe these bits of geologic detritus are the last vestiges of the overlying deposit. So in this one place, we're seeing a sequence of geologic events in Jezero Crater involving first the deposition of fine grain material, possibly underwater in ancient Lake Jezero, which became lithified and fractured, followed by the formation of the veins, then some unknown amount of time passing and erosion happening, followed by deposition of coarse-grained material on top, which became lithified. The team chose to get a better look at both rocks using the arm instruments, but that required a bump, which is any short drive needed to reposition a rover for better access to a rock. The coarse grain rock was the first target of investigation, which included a grind with the abrasion bit on the drill. A bump backward happened after that to get in a better position for the vein-filled slab. I suspect a grind is coming next, so stay tuned for the results of all this bumping and grinding. <laughs> 